said that I needed to get out of bed so that I wouldn't get blood clots. And with me, the physiotherapist walked with me, and he said, your eyes are rolling. So I couldn't control my, the rolling of my eyes. And when I started to foc I tried to focus. I was like focusing down the hallway, and I couldn't focus. And it seems like I was going to fall back. And my husband kept telling me to focus, and he started to hold my head in his hands like this. And sometimes when I felt that I was shaking, I would put my hand to my head like that to control it, but I couldn't. It was a perforated colon, and... Um, you ended up then, in intensive care, didn't right, you? Right, yeah, it was life-threatening. So I was, you know, strong, healthy, and all of a sudden I was on my back. So I'm just trying to get back on my feet. You're an elementary school teacher, right? Yeah, I taught elementary school for many years. Yeah. Did you ever shake like this when you're teaching oh, kids? Oh no, of course not. What do you think the kids would have said if they'd seen you looking like this? Uh, they'd want to know what happens, you know. So they'd wonder what happened to me. Do you have any control over these movements now or not? I thought I did. Um, I walked in the hallway a few times and I didn't shake too much. And I thought I was getting over it. Can you put your tongue out as far as it'll go? Just try to hold it there. Has any doctor expressed an opinion as to what has caused this, these unusual movements? Um, so far, no. Uh, I think one had said that it might not be neurological. I think you were saying that it might have something to do with all the medication that I took or something. I, I don't know. I'm hoping uh, so, because if so, you may get better uh, gradually. Yeah, I hope so. I don't want to be like this for a long time. So it was it was after you got out of the intensive care that you had the problems, is that right? I think so.